Let's move now to women's rights. Why, Why is, there is there a spotlight, spotlight on, on women's, women's rights, rights in, in Afghanistan? Afghanistan? In a report by the BBC, you will find the following sentence. Afghanistan ranks as one of the worst countries in the world for women. When was that? Before women were liberated from the Taliban regime, right? No, no. this was in 2019, meaning after, after 18, 18 years, years of, of occupation. occupation. Among the women's rights gained under the occupation is the rape of women in entire villages and suburbs at the hands of the Northern Alliance, supported, supported by, by the occupation. occupation. This research paper discusses how the occupation used the Northern Alliance gangs in the war against the Taliban, and how the Alliance carried out sweeping operations and systematic rape of women to humiliate them and their families. When you hear women's rights in Afghanistan, remember the state of rampant frenzy created by the occupation in which women were viewed as cheap commodities. And when an Afghan girl or woman wants to marry legally, the occupation planes do not forget to give her a gift on her wedding day. A, a bomb, bomb falls, falls on the, the wedding, wedding, turning, turning it, it into shredded, shredded bones, bones and, and blood. blood. As it bombed a wedding in Uruzganin in 2002, then another wedding was bombed on the 6th of July 2008, victims of the bombing were 47 Afghan Muslims, 39 of them were women and children according to the Guardian, and among the dead was the bride as well. A third wedding a few months later, on the 3rd of November 2008 in Kandahar, 40 Afghans were killed, only 7 of them were men and the rest were women and children, and others were wounded including the bride. What was the reaction of the occupation army when faced with these incidents? Just, Just some, some cheap, meaningless, meaningless words, words before, before they, they continued, continued their, their merciless, merciless wedding, wedding bombing, bombing campaign. campaign. They bombed a fourth wedding in Kandahar in the year 2010, and the victims were 40 killed and more than 70 wounded, as reported by the UN. And a fifth wedding in Kandahar in 2018, and a sixth wedding in Helmand in 2019, the wedding became a funeral for 42 Afghans, including children. The CNN news report about the bombing of a wedding in 2002, where the occupation forces hid the traces of their bombing, the wreckage and the body parts. And this is how all traces of such crimes are also deleted from the internet. How many women suffered after their homes were bombed and their children were killed? This is a picture saved from the newspapers showing the suffering of women who were displaced into refugee camps by the airstrikes of the International Coalition. Also never forget a report by Al Jazeera in 2001 showing a video of an Afghan woman in a refugee camp who kept the remains of her husband who died in the bombing, in a bundle. And every time she opened this bundle and looked into it, she would fall into an epileptic seizure, and people would hold her still in place so she wouldn't harm herself while seizing. Thanks to the occupation, poverty in Afghanistan has risen to 72% in 2020, and of course, countless women are suffering from that. Thanks to the occupation, Afghanistan has become the second highest country in the world in terms of number of displaced people, second only to Syria. Behind every number of the millions of Afghan victims, there's a story, a painful story that is unfortunately not yet over. Remember the mother, the daughter, the wife, the sister of these Afghan men who were killed, imprisoned, maimed, burned, and photographed while being tortured? These are the human rights, the women's rights, and the children's rights that Afghans have enjoyed for 20 years. And many young people do not know any of what we have mentioned, so the international media succeeds in deluding them that they care for women's rights and are eager to defend women and human rights and so forth. Consider this report from Vox. It admits the U.S. used women's rights to help justify the invasion of Afghanistan, which is what WikiLeaks also says about using the issue of women to, quote, reduce Western opposition to military occupation of Afghanistan. Someone might say, but you only mentioned the dark side of the occupation. Why not talk about the reconstruction, the electricity, and the internet, establishing schools and universities? Look, dear viewers, a cheap person finds the blood of the Muslims to be cheap too. If just one of the incidents we mentioned happened to Westerners, they would have gone mad and turned the earth upside down in vengeance. Then you'll find our positive side friend silent and feeling that these Westerners have every right because they have been attacked. 
As for the Muslims, however, internet service and electricity is, is enough, enough to make up for countless lives lost.